Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Clapp. I'm the Associate Director for Patient Care Services and the Nurse Executive at VA Eastern Kansas Healthcare System. It's my honor this year to be able to share with you the award winners for our VA Secretary Award for Excellence in Nursing, as well as the Nurse of the Week Award for Nurses Week. This year, 2020, is the International Year of the Nurse, and May 6th marks the start of the week, culminating on May 12th, Florence Nightingale's birthday. This year is also an exceptional year as this marks her 200th birthday. For many, you probably know that her nickname and what she is known by is the Lady with the Lamp. But many of you probably don't know that the fun fact is that she was named Florence for the birthplace in Florence, Italy. This year, We've had some unique challenges throughout our country as well as the world with the COVID pandemic. I want to say a special thanks to everyone in healthcare, but especially the nurses. No more than this year and this time has it been evident that the 24-7 delivery of nursing care is important to these patients as they go through these challenges. So with that, again, thank you for all you do and thank you for being an advocate for the patients during their time of need. On with the exciting part, we'll go ahead and announce the Nurses Week Award winners first. There are seven of those categories. The starting, Advocacy for Patients, Sarah Martinez. Mentoring, Cynthia Lopez. The Rising Star, Caitlin Walker. Community Service, Tannis Smith. Innovation and Creativity, Miranda Mulford. Leadership, Elizabeth Simpson. And Collaboration, Carla Forbes. Congratulations to those local winners for those honors. And now for the four VA Secretary Awards in Excellence in Nursing. For a Nursing Assistant, Felix Noyes. LPN, Nicole Castle. For RN, Karen Dawson, and for RN in an expanded role, Nancy Dykin. Congratulations to all of you. You've done exceptional work and your peers have recognized you for your accomplishments and the care that you provided our veterans. I would also like to add that at a date to be determined after the pandemic is settled down a little bit, we will get together with those award winners and recognize them appropriately with a reception. So again, Thank you for the care that you provide and happy Nurses Week.